three. Uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. This is Stephen Spector, your Dell Cloud Evangelist, and I have an interesting company for you today to learn about. Um, my guest is uh, David Messina. David, can you go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Th thank you, Stephen, for having me on the, the session today. So my name is David Messina, and I run marketing and business development for a software company called Zangati. And uh, in my role in, in that capacity, I'm responsible, very much like yourself, Stephen, for evangelizing, in our case, uh, the Zangati software and what it does in, in a cloud ecosystem, as well as I'm responsible for some of our major partnerships, working with some of the larger vendors in the in the market, Dell being one of those vendors as an example. Great. So, so before we go into, you know, about your products, can you just give us a little history about Zangati and, uh, you know, where it comes from and that kind of thing? Sure, uh, absolutely. So Zangati has uh, been focused in this market, uh, let's call that this market virtualization in the cloud for about two and a half years now. And interestingly enough, before that, our technology was actually focused in the service provider sector, helping manage subscriber intelligence and subscriber experience. And about two and a half years ago at VMworld 2010, we really launched our solution as a virtual appliance to look at the converged compute network and storage infrastructure. And over that time, we've been able to evolve very rapidly. We now have over 400 customers in this market sector, uh, some household names like GE and Comcast, as well as smaller organizations, regional governments, community colleges, and so on. So our history, um, different routes, but now very much rooted in focusing on virtualization in the cloud. Okay, and um, so I know, you know, when I went and looked at your site, it talks about performance management for the cloud. Can you kind of just give us some general idea of what that means? I, I know everyone struggles with cloud. We'll just kind of go with the fact that our listeners know what the cloud is and, and take a step a little further into what you guys do. Well, uh, Stephen, I appreciate you not making me define the cloud for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've given up on that. It just the, If you're listening to this, you know what the cloud is. I think that's the easiest way to look at it. It is indeed, and we, we could perhaps spend you know a minute or uh, all my afternoon on that topic. So in, in terms of um, performance management for the cloud, I, I guess what I would say is if you think of the cloud most simplistically as a converged infrastructure of the constructs of compute, network, and storage, the foundational shift with a cloud is that you're moving from a dedicated over-provisioned environment to a dynamic and shared one. And what we've found in our experience with our 400 plus customers is that in that environment it is so dynamic, these moving parts and the interactions that they have are always in flux. And in that regard, uh, a sudden shift in the dynamics of that infrastructure and the interactions can have a dramatic and cascading impact on end user experience. So what we've found is that with all the great benefits of the cloud, economies of scale, availability, and so on, actually the one thing that is a challenge is the volatility of end user experience for those who are accessing applications in the cloud. And so when I talk about performance management for the cloud, the Zagati solution is there uniquely to actually link the understanding of infrastructure performance and infrastructure dynamics, how that relates to end user experience, and help identify in this infrastructure what we refer to as performance storms. And these performance storms are, are transient interactions between this converged infrastructure that adversely affect end user experience, uh, transient in the sense that they're very short-lived, they're spontaneous, and incredibly difficult to find with the conventional tools that, that folks have invested in the past. Because I think as we're all aware of being on this, this uh, session here, that the cloud is a fundamental shift and there also has to be a fundamental shift in how solutions manage that environment. And that's where Zangati comes into the picture. And is this, um, you know, is this, this sounds like it's a bit of a unique solution in the market. Are, are there a lot of competitors doing this? Is there something um, quite different that you, that your company's doing that offers customers um, extra value? Well, I would, I would, I would be, a miss if I if I didn't say yes of course Stephen you know, there's <laughs> there's, cer there's certainly things that that we do uniquely and differently uh, especially it's worth noting as a as a startup company uh, in a market where we compete against larger vendors or at least get compared with you have to do some things that are are foundationally and architecturally differentiated 
So very much yes. And so let me talk you through some of those things. Okay. And in that regard, we talk about, in, in Zangati speak, we talk about three eyes. And, and the three eyes that we highlight, one it relates to something we call instant. The second is related to interactions. And the third is actually reflective of our intuitive user interface. So going through each of those three points, the, the notion of instant very much ties in with the cloud in the sense that this dynamic cloud environment, I said, is always in flux. And so you need to have a solution that does two things. One, it gives you information truly in real time. And when I mean real time, I mean in the here and now, not five minutes after the fact. So the Zangati solution is the only management solution for the cloud that actually handles the various data feeds that we get about the, these, this, these, ver, sorry, these diverse silos and looks at that information continuously in memory. So in memory, running in RAM, the system analyzes the environment, the health of the environment instantly and continuously, second by second. So not only do we know about things now, we know them with incredible time resolution to great scale. And that allows us to see these fluctuations in a way that every other solution misses the performance storm. So that's instant. The second piece is we talk about interactions. The reason we highlight that is if I'm going to look at the cause and impact and make recommendations or remediations about what's impacting the performance of my environment, I need to understand the nature of what's going on. Simple example, if I have a data store storm where the latency of my storage arrays have gone through the roof, then I need to understand at that exact moment in time which VMs are interacting with that array, which ones are perhaps driving much more IOPS than normal, having that cascading impact on storage latency. And Zangati is the only solution with its storm tracker functionality that heuristically will look at the interactions of what's hitting that array and effectively tell you which VM is the cause and what's being impacted by that. And again, all done immediately. And then the last piece is the system has a very intuitive UI that's not just leveraged by, let's say, the, the system admin, who is often the person who manages, quote, the virtualization estate. What we know is the cloud really needs to be uniformly managed across compute, network, and storage, and you have to have a solution that's accessible to folks of those various diverse expertise. And the other piece here is, so it's accessible to everybody, is that it has this streaming intuitive UI, which has this DVR scroll bar that allows us second by second to record the environment. So when you need to assess a storm, understand cause and impact, we have these continuous recordings that get to the, to the smoking gun, to the cause, if you will, and they can be relayed. So as an example, if I find out that I have a network contention storm and, and I'm the sysadmin, then I need to ship that over to the networking guy with a recording, and they can do that with a Zangati system without having to have a full login. So those are the three things that make Zangari different. And when we sort of get asked to compare against other solutions that do conventional alert monitoring, those are the things that I would highlight. And of course, if, if folks are interested, they can look at a various set of the, the videos that we have up on our website and up on YouTube. Yeah, and, and so I will have the I will have the links on, on the blog that goes with this, but Zangati is with an X, so it's it'll be X A N G A T I dot com. Is that right? That's correct, absolutely. And we have a ton of ton of videos up there about the product. Okay, and um, if we're selling it, is this a direct, a channel? Um, are there trials if someone was interested in actually um, getting a hold of this? So a couple things. So in terms of uh, channel, interestingly enough, for those uh, folks here who happen to be Dell customers, Zangati is a solution that is actually sold through Dell, uh, as an example. So feel free to contact the, the folks that you work with at Dell. Uh, we have multiple different kinds of dashboards. We often have what we call a virtual infrastructure dashboard, as well as a virtual desktop infrastructure dashboard, and those are available. All those SKUs are, uh, I believe, available through Dell Direct. See, I'm so, tossing up softball questions for myself through you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, and then the other piece here is how would I get my hands on this to figure out if it's a good fit for me? Well, if you go to, again, www.zangati.com, Zangati with an X, there are effectively free trials of our VI, virtual infrastructure, and our VDI dashboard up on the website that allows folks to see across their infrastructure, get their hands on the solution, 
identify storms that are impacting their environment, and we'd be very happy to engage with you once you've registered to download the software. Similarly, if you happen to be a smaller shop and perhaps don't have a budget for management, we do have a free tool as well that covers one uh, ESX hypervisor, and that, that tool is available in perpetuity, and that's also available from our website as a download. Great. Are, are there any um, events coming up that, that you guys are going to be at in case someone's listening to this uh, in the next week or two and, and goes, boy, I'd like to just see this and talk to them in person? Well, if, if, if we had uh, done this a couple of days ago, we just did a webinar ourselves. So we tend to do things virtually. Uh, we just did a webinar on our, our storm tracker functionality. So if they want to see it virtually through a demonstration, again, go back to our website uh, we, we tend to go to various user groups in, in the realm of, uh, you know, Dell user groups, VMware user groups, Citrix user groups. So you might see us there, but nothing major specifically in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Well, David, I appreciate you taking the time today to uh, talk to us. And for the listeners, uh, hopefully you found this interesting and you go learn more about their product at their site. And thank you very much, Stephen. I really appreciate you taking an interest in some of the smaller emerging companies out there. And thanks for recognizing.